multiple endocrine aplasia type 2, uh, so we, we covered type 1, and we know that type 1 is the 3P, the pituitary, the parathyroid, and the pancreas as well. But for type 2, it's a little bit different, and we're going to cover it today. So you have a patient with, fine, with a female patient with thyroid nodule and elevated calcitonin level. So when you have this, so you're thinking about really the medullary thyroid cancer. All right. So single pest test to diagnose, fine needle aspiration cytology in the single pest test. So we've done this. There is amyloid deposit and also immunochemistry stains positive for calcitonin and stains negative for thyroxin. So that's typically tells you that this is a, para, a, a medullary thyroid cancer, medullary thyroid cancer. And the origin, the cell of origin for medullary thyroid cancer is the para follicular C cells, all right? So you can be asked why this is a parathyroid cancer, uh, sorry, a medullary thyroid cancer. Uh, it's because we do have amyloid deposit and it's purely positive or functional for calcitonin. So that's why it's a parathyroid cancer. So the report said that we've done immunohistochemistry. So what is immunohistochemistry? So immunohistochemistry is a way to identify certain antigen into the cancerous cells by an antigen antibody reaction. So basically what we do is we do have certain antibodies and we attach them to a certain dye uh, that is able to stain when, when, it, when it attaches to a certain antigen. All right? So what we do is we take the sample and then we'll put it in a pot um, and then combine it with the antibody that we already have. And if the antigen is on this sample or the tissue sample that we had from the patient, it will start to stain and give us the color that we're looking for. And that means it's positive for this color. So how does this work? It's usually this antigen antibody reaction is called complement fixation. So the antibodies are usually linked to an enzyme or fluorescent dye. When the antibodies uh, bind to the antigen in the tissue sample, the enzyme uh, is activated and then the antigen will be seen under the microscope. Okay. Uh, there is another pathology report uh, showing the size and the number of positive lymph nodes. We can be asked about the uh, staging of this tumor. And uh, if this patient was familial, what other condition would we look for? So we know that this patient had uh, a medullary thyroid uh, carcinoma. And we can look for parathyroid gland hyperplasia and adenoma as well. So here we talked about, let's make a comparison between men type 1 and men type 2. As a starter, men type 2 is divided into 2A and 2B. The men type 1 is the 3B, all right, the 3P. So we have the parathyroid gland, the pancreas, and the pituitary. And the men type 2 is the 3C, all right, the 3C. The 3C is a calcium, so hyperparathyroidism, the calcitonin, medullary cerebral carcinoma, and also the catecholamines that is a pheochromocytoma. And type 2B is literally the same, such as type uh, uh, 2A, in addition to morphonoid features and mucosal neuroma. They are either due to menin type 1 gene on chromosome 11 or ret unction on chromosome 10, and they are, all of them are autosomal dominant. They are, all of them are autosomal dominant. Treatment of medullary thyroid carcinoma, usually a total, a total thyroidectomy with block neck dissection as well.